It's recap time. I bring you one more recap. Today I'll explain a crime thriller movie called Hellhound from the year 2024. So let's start. The film opens with Loreno, a skilled assassin, walking into a church. Loreno sits by the church's father for a confession and confesses to his first assassination at the age of 14. The father starts panicking when Loreno accuses him of doing something for which he's been chosen to be assassinated. Loreno splashes alcohol all over the confessional and sets it on fire while the priest is still inside. Afterwards he goes deep into the woods to see his man, Satan, who offers him another job. Loreno agrees to take the job, stating that this will be his last. Now, Satan tells him a little tale of a rich old man from Bangkok. The man was seduced by a young woman, under whom the old man transferred his condominium and jumped from his apartment's terrace. The police called it a suicide, but the old man's daughter claimed her father was pushed off by the young girl. When the suspicious daughter visited the young girlfriend in her father's condominium, she found her having fun with her boyfriend, as well as her pimp, Tar. Hence, she reached out to Chitan about avenging her father and assassinating the girl, and her pimp, Tar. Sitan tells Loreno to take help from Somsak, one of his men, and warns him not to underestimate Tar and his men, since they're dangerous criminals. Meanwhile in Bangkok, Tar and his men are seen brutally torturing a man into signing some papers. Later, he drops his girl at the strip club she dances in and leaves, while constantly staring at a feminine boy prostitute from the back of his car. Soon, Loreno shows up at the girlfriend's club and keeps an eye on her. When the girlfriend's shift ends and she walks her way home, Loreno shows up in a tuk-tuk taxi, driven by Somsak, and offers the girlfriend 10,000 baht for a nightstand. The drunkard girlfriend finds it a good offer, and sits with Loreno in the tuk-tuk. He takes her back to his place not knowing one of Tar's men has been following them all the way. Loreno lies the drunkard girlfriend on the bed and goes to the bathroom for a while. The girlfriend gets up from the bed to drink water from the table. She finds it bad tasting, so she looks down and spits it out on the floor. There she finds her and Tar's picture fallen out of Loreno's jacket. When Loreno comes back, she starts screaming while sensing danger. Loreno pins her down on the bed and tries to choke her, but Tar's giant man Bijan shows up and saves the girlfriend. The girlfriend runs away, leaving Loreno to face Bijan's wrath. Bijan gives Loreno a hell of a tough time and punctures both his cheeks during the fight, but Loreno gains power over Bijan in the end and pushes his dead body off the staircase. He immediately goes out and calls Somsak to pick him up, Somsak takes him to his place and discusses the consequences of letting the girl leave, but Loreno doesn't find it a problem and knocks on his single mattress. On the other hand, Tar grabs his girl by the hair and scolds her for getting herself into a situation like this. He feels challenged when one of his sidekicks delivers the news of Bijan's assassination by Loreno. He tells his men to guard up, realizing he took down one of his best men. Up next, Tar sends three of his men to look into Loreno's place, but they find his place sealed shut by the police after they took Bijan's corpse out. They try asking about Loreno from the neighbors, but everyone claims to have seen nothing. That's when they come across a little kid who gets scared to look at them and runs back to his old man. They run after him and grab him by the collar, along with his old man, and ask him to tell them what he's hiding from them. The kid takes out his phone and shows them a picture of Somsak in his tuk-tuk from last night. One of the men recognizes Somsak and claims he's a fighter and not a taxi driver. Back on Loreno's side, he washes blood off of him and takes Somsak to see an old ally, Paul, who can help them find Tar. They show up at Paul's illegal ring fight and catch up with him. When Loreno asks for his assistance, he takes them downstairs to his private place. Loreno comes straight to the point and shows him Tar's picture. When he asks Paul to find Tar for him, he starts using lengthy analogies to describe the kind of dangerous man Tar is. Loreno makes fun of his talking style and asks if he can help or not. Paul, in the end, claims he's Loreno's friend, so he must help him. After getting assurance from Paul, Loreno walks out with Somsak and claims he's using Paul as a friend to get to Tar and that he can never be trusted. When Somsak returns home that night, he finds his old mother lying dead on the ground. He gets on his knees, crying and holding his grandmother's face. Three of Tar's men show up from behind, enjoying looking at him. He attacks the men and obliterates them using their knives. Things come to an end for Somsak when three other men of Tar show up, beat him to unconsciousness, and take him to Tar. Meanwhile, Tar is shown walking out of the same ladyboy's room that he gazed upon outside his girlfriend's strip club. He shows up at the place where his men are holding Somsak. 
He and his men torture him into spilling where Loreno is, but Somsak says nothing. They start cutting down his finger, which causes him to faint. The men take out Somsak's phone from his back pocket and video call the last number he's dialed. When Loreno picks up the call, they show him Somsak's beaten up face and threaten him to show up. Loreno chillingly talks back to them and announces his arrival at their place. When Somsak gains consciousness, Tar's men take him out and throw him in the river. Somsak climbs back up using a rope once they leave and hitchhikes a ride to Loreno's hotel. There, he tells him everything Tar's people did to him. This makes Loreno realize that the men threw Somsak in the river as a trap, so they could trace him and get to Loreno. He quickly wraps an ice cube bag with a towel, gives it to Somsak for his broken fingers, and takes him out. In the hallway, he dodges Tar's men with guns and makes it to the parking lot outside. There, he ends up shooting Tar's lookout men. One of them runs inside the hotel, but Loreno goes after him and shoots him. There, he sees the receptionist shot to death, which shakes his faith. He goes back outside and takes Somsak to Paul's place in his car. There, Paul gets his sidekick to call the doctor. And in the meantime, he tries to convince Loreno to back out and reminds him that it's just a job that shouldn't be taken too seriously. Loreno claims he's retiring after this job, which is why this one has to be his grand finale. Hearing this, Paul delivers him the news of Tar's new whereabouts, an illegal ring fight club, to which he's coming to place large bets on the players. Soon, the doctor arrives for Somsak, but he goes into cardiac arrest and passes away, while Loreno looks at him with guilt. Somsak's death forces Loreno to call Setan back to Bangkok. Setan calls out Loreno's incompetence in Somsak's case and reminds him why he never wanted to see Paul's face. In his last mission, he and Paul were sent to assassinate a couple that had a son. Paul made the kid choose the parent he liked the most and shot that parent first. Satan couldn't bear to look the kid in the eyes, so he shot the kid and left the thug life forever. Loreno justifies his choices, but reminds him to unite with Paul for their own good, since he's a vessel to Tar. Meanwhile, Tar has an argument with his ladyboy and ends up beating him with his belt. Loreno unites Satan with Paul despite Satan not wanting to, and plans of catching Tar in the fight club. Paul tells them the exact location and some basic things about the security not being too tight for them. He makes getting to Tar sound so easy, yet he's planned otherwise. He tells the two to wait until his guy comes to pick them up for the club. In the meantime, Loreno and Satan pick up guns for the assassination and spark up a debate regarding religion. Whereas Satan believes there's comfort in the afterlife, Loreno has remolded his view on religion after reading a quote from the Bible, according to which God favors the strong. At last, Paul's man shows up and takes them to the fight club. Meanwhile, Paul sits with Tar and has a good word with him. Tar invites him to his party after the fight, but Paul jokingly claims that he's too old to be attending parties and leaves. Contrary to that, Loreno and Satan enter the parking lot from the back, where Tar's men welcome them with guns. Satan gets shot but he still looks out for Loreno from behind a car and shoots a guy on the bike coming at Loreno. Loreno loses his temper and beats down every man of Tar with a steel pole. When Sitan spots a lady and asks her about the ring fight, she states that the fight ended two hours ago. Hearing this, he feels betrayed and tells Loreno to take revenge on Paul as well, to which Loreno promises. As they drive a random car to head back to Paul, Tar's men show up and shoot their car until it catches fire. Satan dies in the fire, while Loreno manages to escape and get to Paul with a gun. At Paul's place, he puts a gun to his head and threatens him to lead him to Tar and his girlfriend so that he can finish them and come to Paul for crossing Satan. Paul takes him to the bar, but when Loreno asks for the car keys, Paul tries to snatch Loreno's gun from his hand. Loreno takes out a second gun and shoots Paul from the back of his seat. He then goes inside the bar and meets with his Russian security in the hallway. He gets into a fight with him, in which he jabs a knife into the Russian's eye and throat simultaneously. In the fight, he gets covered in the Russian's blood. He goes inside, shoots more of Tar's men, and finds out where he's hiding. He goes upstairs, where he's having a karaoke session with his girlfriend and another chick. Before Loreno, Tar's ladyboy shows up, ranting about his affair and beating him. He takes out a gun and shoots Tar, but Loreno shows up from behind and shoots the ladyboy. He then steps forward and shoots Tar and his girl to put an end to his job. 
Lorena returns to Seton's place and starts living there. The daughter of the man, who was robbed by Tar's girlfriend, finally shows up and pays Loreno double for what he had to go through. Loreno, who has gone rogue, strikes up a conversation about religion and God with the girl. He scares the woman by deciding to shoot her if God doesn't take him out within 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, the screen goes black, indicating he shot the lady. The film ends with Loreno getting shot by a little kid in the woods who's out hunting with his father. I hope you liked it. Please comment down on what you liked about this movie and what scene you liked. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in our next video.